Hello everyone, my name is Natalia and welcome back to my channel. So for today, I am going to be presenting a pot painting. My mom actually asked me to design her pot for her plant and I felt that I might as well bring you guys on a little journey and show you guys what I did. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, make sure to keep on watching and I'll see you guys there. So I'm going to start off by sketching out the whole pot and this time I decided that I would do each side different. So this first side that you see me drawing is kind of like more simple and I'm just following the shape of the pot. As you can tell it's a very awkward pot that my mom got but I didn't expect her to actually want me to draw on her pot but she did. So for the other side I went ahead and did a mushroom team and I wanted to draw like a bird or something as you can tell but I actually ended up scratching that whole idea as I thought the proportions were kind of weird and they didn't suit the mushrooms since they were smaller so I ended up doing kind of like trees intertwining with one another and I think not any I'm not giving any giveaways but I think in the end it turned out a lot better. So anyway, in general, I am going to be using acrylic paint as that is what I have. I don't know what else you can use on plastic pots. And I'm going to start off with the background, which is all of the little grass pieces that are sticking out. And first I tried it just with the normal green paint, but unfortunately, it no matter how many times I tried to actually paint over it, it just kept kind of like scratching out the paint and it wasn't as opaque so of course I had to add a base layer so, so while the paint is drying I did the trunks of the mushrooms and I used this brassy color and it does have a shimmer effect on it that's why I used it I think that it turns out really really nice in the end and of course I use my green for the grass and I painted over that on the white which is a good idea. I always remember put a base layer before starting anything because it makes a difference. And I will be using two greens to add contrast and some dimension. And I'm also going to be using oil pastels. I haven't used them in a long time but I don't really like them to be honest but I decided because I can't use the brush to put as much details as I wanted to, it would be a better alternative to use the pastels. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Next, I added a base color of white onto the mushroom caps because I am going to be applying red on top and also there's going to be white circles on the mushrooms. So of course, I wanted the white there. And I'm just gonna finish off the rest of the leaves on the other side and I'm gonna put a base color down for that too. So as I told you guys, I will be using a darker green. So that is what I have done here. I added all the dark parts onto the leaves to make sure that it has contrast and also making sure that one side has all the highlights so it looks like the sun is reflecting on them. And now I'm using some red paint to start coloring in the cap of the mushroom, of course, making sure to leave the little circles out so it has some more detail. And this is what it's looking like so far and I think that overall it's looking really nice. So now let's move on to the bottom of the cap and for this I'm going to be using this purple kind of shimmery color and that's what I'm going to be using as a base color and it's very very sheer so on the white it actually is more see-through and you can see the white underneath it but it's okay because I will be covering that up anyway so it's okay I know right now it looks kind of bland I would say but once you put in the oil pastel I swear it makes such a big difference with all the little details, the shadowing, the gradient and everything like that. So now I am painting all of the tree trunks and for this I use a variety of color just to change it up a little bit. So I did a couple of layers of this off camera just to save some time so it's more opaque. So for this I am using the same colors I have been throughout like the shimmery 
purple and also the brassy color and also just more colors that pop out like orange and blue just to give more contrast so now i am moving on to the background i decided to keep it pretty simple so i am mixing up this nice light blue color and i will be doing this for both sides of the pot but for the other side with the more simple design i'm actually going to be putting in white and blending that in together just to make it look more classic so for the rims of the pot i will be using white as you can tell i am painting the base here white but later on i'm actually going to change that color but for now i'm going to go ahead and use my pastels to add more details so i'm just putting in white and mixing it with a light shade of green for the highlights and then i am using a darker green for the shadows of the grass and i basically continue doing this around the whole pot to make sure that it pops out and gives a lot more dimension and also some contrast and same thing with the mushrooms i also added more of a base color at the side and added more highlight to one side of the mushroom and to tie it all together i used my gel pen this is the signal gel pen and i basically outlined every single thing that i did this just means that everything i drew will stand out much more and you'll be able to see it from further away and another thing to make it stand out more and to make it see it from far away I added the pastel and I used white and I basically kind of added like a highlight in the background and I made sure to exaggerate a lot of the whites and the blacks around like the trunks and the mushroom just so you can actually see it from really really far away so that is what I'm basically doing for the whole painting for both of the sides of the pot as you can tell i am just using a dark shadow for the side of the trunk and then for example if it's orange i'm gonna use a lighter shade of orange at the side so i can blend it in with the white so in the end i think that it turned out really nice and i did work on it more off camera for the tree trunks because it did take quite a while to make it stand out a lot more so you will see more of the final results soon so then i went ahead and used my signo gel pen in the color white to obviously outline each of the trunks and this is a like a tip when you are doing art make sure you always exaggerate the whites and the darks because you know you're hardly gonna look at art from really up close and even if it seems like it has a lot of white and a lot of dark in it remember from far away you will never be able to see those unless you exaggerate them so it's always a good idea when you're doing art you know take a step back now and then and see like if it looks nice or if it needs more and you can always start off small and then build up from there so of course i'm doing the same things as i did with the mushrooms i just took my pastel in the color white and i added a highlight in the back of each of the trunks to make sure that they stand out and pop out and you can actually see them so now moving on to the last side of the pot i am first putting a base color of white for the whole pot and i did this a couple times just to make sure it's opaque and I mix in with the edges of the blue so that way it looks nice and it actually looks like a gradient. So for this I use the pastels as I feel like it creates a better gradient. Even though I did use a brush for this and I mix them together I still think that it works out a lot better and it looks nicer in the end. So for the pattern, I will be sticking to one color instead of multiple. So what I'm using is actually not paint. It's just for sampling when you do car paint. So it, it has like that metallic feel to it. I just don't actually have metallic paint in this color. So I used silver at the start, but I didn't really like it. So I just used gold instead. And I did have to add a lot of layers to it because I, as you can tell, it's very, very streaky. So if you're going to do this yourself, I would definitely recommend just using paint 
because it is quite smelly and it's also not recommended to use like anywhere other than actually cars because it is toxic so just use paint but yeah as i told you guys i did change the bottom of the pot with gold and in the end i actually mixed it with some white to create more of a pastel -y color and then the top of the pot i also used a white as a base and i did a couple of layers just to make sure that it's opaque i also painted the top rim of the pot white and i did a couple of layers of that i just did that off camera as it does take a while to dry and i wanted to speed up the process a little bit more and i also added a couple of layers to make sure that it's opaque and yeah this is what it turned out like so far and for finishing touches i'm going to do the rims and first i started out by painting them gold the semicircles but i actually changed my mind and i just painted the whole rim gold to make sure that it matches with the accent colors and yeah so this is what it turned out like and i hope you guys enjoy i'll see you guys next time bye